Hello. In a previous video, I discussed how two random variables can be linearly correlated if one is a linear function of the other. In this video, I will explain how we can generalize this idea by introducing the notion of non-linear correlation and by noting that we can always write one random variable, capital Y, as a function of a second different random variable, capital X. With that in mind, consider the graph that is shown here. What I am plotting is a series of samples from the joint distribution of the two random variables x and y. We can use the ideas on linear correlation that we used to introduce in my previous video and draw the following straight line through these points using the method of least squares to fit a linear function that gives as much of y as it is possible to give from the value of x. In looking at this fit, however, we might note that the positive and negative values of delta are not evenly distributed along the range of x values. In particular, negative delta values seem to be concentrated in this region of the x-axis, while positive delta values fall outside this region. In other words, all the points in the circled region fall underneath the red line, while points outside this circle seem to fall above the red line. In fitting the relationship between these functions, between these two random variables, we might therefore try to better account for the relationship between x and y by introducing a function with a non-zero curvature, such as a quadratic, as is shown here. Algebraically, we would thus be writing the random variable capital Y as the following quadratic function of the random variable X, with our ubiquitous delta random variable that can be positive or negative that has an expectation as of zero. Uh, this would be the equation that we would use in order to do that. By writing the random variable y as a nonlinear function of the random variable x, we might therefore be able to account for more of the apparent randomness in the value of y. In other words, by writing y as a nonlinear function of x, we can make our estimate for the second moment of delta smaller. We need to be careful when we do such things, however, as nonlinear functions often have more parameters than linear functions. Furthermore, if we introduce enough parameters, we can produce an exact nonlinear relationship that connects the value of the random variable capital X with the value of the random variable capital Y. In other words, by introducing a large number of parameters, we can make our estimate for the second moment of delta equal to zero. The fact that we can find nonlinear functions that relate two data sets exactly sounds good, but isn't. Our objective when we look for a correlation between two data sets is to find a simple relationship between the two random variables. A very complex nonlinear function with many parameters is not simple. When we tackle these nonlinear fitting problems, we must be therefore careful to avoid introducing many parameters and overfitting the data. You will learn a lot more about this topic during the course of your degree. For now, though, the exercises that follow will test whether you've understood the basic idea of what it means when we state that two random variables are related by some nonlinear function. Good luck with these exercises and thanks for your attention.